Well, breaking news tonight, the KPU defenders are getting a better idea of who DPS troopers are arresting in their stepped up patrols in Austin. Senior reporter Tony Plahetsky is here with us to tell us what brand new numbers he obtained this afternoon. Hey, Tony. Hey, Brian and Ashley, we just got this data from the county attorney's office within the past couple of hours. It breaks down all the misdemeanor arrests. I want to be clear, these are not felonies that DPS has made since it started those extra patrols on March 30th. Of the 167 arrests, almost two thirds, that 65% were classified as Latino. Almost a quarter, 23% were black. 12% were white and only one person was Asian. On the screen here for reference is a breakdown from the census and it shows black and Hispanic people were disproportionately represented in this arrest data. Whites and Asians were underrepresented. Now what we aren't able to do is compare this data to something we're certainly looking into and that is how these numbers compare to what we typically see from other Austin agencies, primarily APD. But we know that this is one of the concerns that critics raised about this DPS enforcement, that it would disproportionately affect communities of color. And now, of course, we are getting our first glimpse at that data. Brian. So, Tony, has there been any response from DPS tonight about what this data shows? So I did give DPS a call a little while ago and they referred all questions about this operation to Austin police. Chief Joe Tacon told me that they are aware of this information. In fact, right now they are meeting with city leaders, the county attorney's office and DPS officials. That meeting is ongoing. The chief says they are working to understand this information and will be looking closely at the arrest data, analyzing it and reporting it to the public as quickly as they can. Senior reporter Tony Pulheski with the latest. Tony, thank you very much for that. We